Hello, welcome. Welcome back to the park bench. This is very exciting where we're playing. It's really nice to have you all here. You know, last time we did this, a couple weeks ago, we had over 2,000 people come to play on this park bench. Now there's over 2,300 of you playing on the park bench. So this is a, an exciting experience that we're playing into. And this experience is about you. It's simply about you. It's an experience that you have been waiting for for a long time. So this is a place where there's going to be a lot of changes that are unfolding in front of us right now. And as these changes unfold, this opportunity to direct them, to move them, to kind of play in them is really what this is all about. So consciousness is where we're playing. And the intention is creating a new realm of consciousness. Now, this is something that's been dreamt for many eons of time. And to a great extent, it's been dreamt by you many eons of that time. But here, this is the time where this kind of new golden age is coming into being, this new experience is beginning to become in place. You know, Consciousness exists on lots of layers. And what happens in one layer doesn't necessarily happen in another layer. And these layers are constantly changing. And that's where we're playing right now. And this particular time we're playing in is like a season. Seasons are constantly changing. And we're coming out of a somewhat of a winter season, if you would, into a spring. And as that winter begins to fall away, that spring begins to grow. And that's kind of really exactly where we are at this particular time. Seasons don't repeat, but they rhyme. They aren't exactly the same, but they're similar. And we're in one of those seasons right now that is beginning to expand very exponentially. And so as you begin to play here, one of the experiences that many are having is you're beginning to remember. You're beginning to remember things that still may not fall into place exactly the way that you would like them to, but it's like new awarenesses of things that you have known all along. One of the pieces that's fascinating about this is how it's happening. And it's as if you drop a pebble into a bowl of water and you create a ripple. And that ripple is unaffected. It just goes out and out and out and out until it hits the edge of the bowl. And then it begins to contract. And that contraction is very fine until it hits the next wave that's coming out. And you wind up getting this compression electricity is very compressive. It starts to compress and compress. And that wave begins to build up to the point where that electrical compression becomes so strong, it's like an explosion. That explosion in this case is the launching into another level of consciousness is what we're experiencing. That explosion is everything that is about to be compressed is basically taking a, a leap, a doubling, an octave jump into a whole nother realm of consciousness. This octave moving out of this 3D into this multidimensional realm, new realm of consciousness. This octave has been something that has been played with a little bit before this gathering of this park bench, because you see back in the point in time 2020, when COVID was happening, we gathered once before on this park bench. And for about 33 weeks, we gathered and built this new octave, began to launch this experience of a new realm, uh, an architecture, a landscape, uh, an environment of a new realm of consciousness. And the question was, how would you like to live in this experience? What would you like it to be? And we spent a lot of time creating this 
octave, and this octave was all about joy and buoyancy and ease and a level of light and an expansion. And as the light really began to pour in, we, we got to a point after that 33 weeks where we paused. And the pause was simply about, let's watch what happens. Let's step back. Let's let this begin to absorb into consciousness. And it did. And it has. And what you're watching right now is this architecture of joy and ease is beginning to translate all over the world into aspects of freedom. Now, if you really step back and you watch over the last three, four, five years, this massive explosion of immigration, 3D, people push against that. But that's people saying, I want my freedom. I'm done with this compression. Oh, and the terms, words always change, but compression, that electrical compression, waiting for this explosive moment for something really grand to happen. Kind of the word wasn't compression, it was oppression. And people were confined and compressed. And we sat on that park bench and we built an architecture, an opportunity, a possibility. And you're watching it take hold right now. That freedom, that movement of people where there's been, you know, I, they've lived in places where the food has never been enough. The water has never been there. The oppression of governments has always been there. And people have said enough. And so that's what you're watching happen in this movement all over the planet is enough. We want peace. We want joy, ease, buoyancy. And then here's you. You come along and into a dream that has been thought for a really long time a new realm of consciousness, a new aspect of how one co-creates, cooperates, lives in respect and dignity. But the interesting part about this is it's all about you. See, you're the creator. I'm the creator. We're the creator. And it's in that pause sitting on this park bench, beginning to recognize I can create differently. Now, we talked about creation in this last session. We basically said, how does that happen? And it's this moment where all of a sudden you go, hmm, hmm, that's interesting. Never thought of it that way. And you get an idea. And then as you're kind of playing with the idea, you get a concept. And then the concept begins to be a possibility. And the possibility begins to have tangibility and density and opportunity. And then you say, yes, I, I can do this. I can create. And you see, that's what's happening right now. That's what this park bench is all about. This ability to sit, co-create one with another and basically say, I'd like to go to a party. I'd like to gather. I'd like to create something exciting. And so welcome to the park bench because this is that moment in where that compression, you're beginning to watch, oh, you've been watching for some time, but it's getting tighter and tighter. And as you look at that 3D world without throwing rocks at it, there's not a lot of room before you fall off the edge. It's like, you can't kick this can down the road much further. Something must be done. And you're watching it. So it's very exciting, especially if you can just step back and stay out of the energy of he said, she said, and they're bad. Just watch it. It's grand theater if you would allow yourself. But the compression is now exploding into this octave. It's doubling. It's going into this new realm. So again, here we are. What do you want that new realm to look like? If you could co-create with others, what would you want this to be? This is about you. In so many ways, this is about you. In so many ways, as we move through the season, one of the things that happens, it's, it's like the dawning of the day. The day is getting brighter. The light is getting more. And all of a sudden, you're beginning to recognize, oh, I know that. I remember that. 
oh, I had forgotten that. I can do it this way. All of that that you have been in all of these lifetimes is in the process of presenting. It's very exciting. And yet it's just simply what's happening. But the real point is you're the creator. What do you want? How would you like to experience this? If you could have engagement with others in the most honest and joyful of ways, how would that be? Yeah, 3D, not so much. It hasn't been there. It's the kind of the winter. Everything's been hunkered down. But we're in the process of moving into a whole new time. And this whole new time is right there with your pencil in your hand, your crayon on the table, the opportunity to lay out the sketch pad. How would you like this new creation to look like? Be really clear. It's about you. It's not about, oh, yeah, someday somebody will do that. We're not talking about a future someday. We're talking about step up to the plate. You are the creator. And when two or more start talking about those ideas, what's possible is really pretty amazing. And so you're watching that pause from that first park bench sitting is now at a point where it's time to now take the next step and beginning to build this architecture, this landscape, flushing it out, beginning to make more density to it. But in a way, if you just step back and look at it, there's another question. What is the atmosphere you'd like? Atmosphere, interesting. Meaning simply, you've been to great parties, you've been to in fun events, and, and you look at them and you say, this is fun, this is enjoyable, people are having a good time, I feel good. You've been to other parties where they've been kind of boring and nothing's been happening and there's no movement going on. Would you simply sit back on this park bench, take a breath. One of the things about creating where it gets to be really fun is when everybody kind of is talking about the same thing. And so one of the ways that we're going to play at this is, would you be aware of your crown chakra? And would you have the intention of setting it at sky blue? Yeah. Now, the purpose of this is basically, it's as if somebody says, look over here, we're going to talk about this. Everybody looks over there. So beginning to be in an alignment in that crown chakra space, all of a sudden you're talking the same language to everybody. You begin to have a clear understanding of how all this comes together. And so just a nice breath, kind of sit back on that park bench. And would you find that feeling of sky blue? You know, it's, it's like sitting on the park bench, looking up at the sky quiet day, comfortable temperature. And would you just be very present? Close your eyes if you'd like. Very present, right here. I am here. Another breath. So a moment ago I said atmosphere. So sitting here what what is that atmosphere what is the the in the feeling of the party what is if you were going to begin to build the landscapes and the architectures and the real environment is how would you like to experience all that to start with when you stepped into it what experience would you like to have what experience would you like to create to say to your children, look at what we've created for you to play, for, for me to play? Another breath. And you see is that 
octave raises up as that electricity explodes the magnetism of the feeling. So we said we're going to talk about constructive process of how you create as a spirit. Thoughts are electrical, emotions, feelings, sensations, the great magnetic expansion of this is wonderful feeling. Did you just feel that? So this atmosphere, just kind of step back and as that octave raises up, there begins to be this ease. Wonderful feeling, ease, very deep. It has many complexities and many simplicities. It's just simply ease. You can take a breath, relax into the chair. And there's a joy, it's a happiness, a comfortableness. This is fun, this is creating the party. And all my friends are coming. And they're bringing their friends. And it's a place where there's going to be respect cooperation, co-creation. Can you feel those feelings of those words, the electricity of the thought coming together to then allow that ripple to bump into the magnetics expanding outward? Beauty, excitement. Another breath. Oh, we're just bringing attention to the atmosphere we would like to experience the party. You're the creator. How long have you wanted to make the world a better place? Help, assist, uplift, nurture, those who are oppressed. Yeah. Another breath. And the interesting part is there's no effort here. You just step back. See that octave raises up and there's, there's really no fear and doubt and lack in this spring that is unfolding in the season. And the wavelength is calming down from the winter storms and the chop is moving away. And this light as it unfolds is all of a sudden going, ah, creating the opportunity I remember. I remember. And you're going to remember a lot. It's, it's not making complete sense right now, but it's beginning to present. You're going to remember Atlantis. You're going to remember Lemurias. You're going to remember multiple times before those. You're going to remember the Cirrus. You're going to remember many of the places that you have been by sitting on this park bench. Many of you speak the languages of light, it's been confusing in the third dimension, just don't know what it means, strange, but it feels really good but I don't understand and I better not do it in public because you know. But where do you think those languages come from? You're about to remember. Yeah. 
It's a very pretty day out. Crown chakra sitting at sky blue. Very nice, comfortable. And look around, there are two or more gathered on this bench, all beginning to be excited about the possibility of something different. And the piece here is, I can step back and observe. The 3D world's happening over there. I can allow it to happen. It's not about, oh, I need to go and fix it. Nothing to fix. What's considered bad doesn't have to be made good. It's simply, it all will just simply evolve and those will begin to see this new realm of consciousness. As this light expands, grows, gets brighter, the shadows begin to disappear. That sense of freedom, peacefulness, co-creation, respect, all begin to be remembered in the heart. Take another breath. Be aware that this park bench is in the heart. I like me is in the heart. Comfortable, present. And would you just simply be aware, aware of nothing, aware of everything, but just aware I am present here and aware. Right here in this heart space, there's a smile. Would you be aware of, say hello to that smile? And it smiles back at you. And, and in this space, sitting on this bench in the heart, there is beauty. And from this park bench, would you look out upon the earth? and the beauty of the earth. And it says you hold that attention point on beauty in a collective consciousness of creating a new realm. Would you be very conscious of Gaia, the consciousness of the earth?
And this sky blue crown chakra is the same sky blue that is the crown chakra of Gaia at the moment. Sky blue. One with in creation. Humans in physical form capable of creating physical form. That's what humans do, create in physical form. It's that, hmm, interesting. You mean I am the creator and I make this happen? Yes, yes, Gaia says back. She says, how beautiful is beautiful. This is a co-creation, a cooperation. Very exciting. And the excitement really here is that I am the creator. And when you allow that just to be that simple, what do I want? I would like maybe a, a, a construct of where one respects another. Respect. Would you kind of find the feeling of that word respect? What if the world operated in respect? What if the architecture of the world was framed in respect? What would that feel like? Can you be in agreement? Look around. Start the building blocks of the architecture. A cornerstone. Respect. Oh, the new realm is already different than the old. And if you brought co-creation or cooperation into this architecture, or simply it's how it is. Hello, I see you. How would you like to play today? One says to another. And as you look out into the landscape of this new architecture, 
Maybe a slight adjustment to respect. It becomes respectful. An environment that all treat with respectful. And everything that has been is already shifting. Respect, respectful, an environment full of respectfulness, one to another. Uh, one simple construction ends wars, poverty, abuse, oppression. You're the creator. You're the architect, you're the composer, you're the writer of the book. As you create respect, build it into the architecture, would you notice that you are respect? You see, this is where the magic begins to really happen in this experience. It's you begin to be the architecture as well as the architect. You begin to hold the levels of light in these configurations that illuminate the new realm. It's all about you, 100% about you. And simultaneously illuminating 100% service to others. And then you giggle on the side. Giggling, that's, you, we can, you can put that into the new realm. Giggling's acceptable. A beacon, a level of light radiating into the world. I think that's what somebody meant once when they said, you are the light. Yeah, this is it right here. Simple terms. Would you just feel respect, respectful, a sense of respectfulness one to another, to the earth, to the plants, to the animals, to the oceans. There's a joy here. And, and if you notice, there's an interesting word. There's a buoyancy, a, a lightness. It's, this is that space that's really kind of enjoyable. It's where the storms of the winter cease and the 
calmness of the oceans and the wave comes in and it just lifts you up, puts you back down on the bottom. Very delightful, comfortable, enjoyable, freeing. There's a smile, that smile that's smiling at you, that you're smiling at it, that oneness with all that is, right here in the smile in the heart. And as the light begins to expand the beauty, kind of over the top, things that you haven't seen for a long time, begin to appear again. And creation that you didn't think of, but that one next to you, that was their idea, their creation. It's like, wow, nice job. This is really amazingly beautiful. How did you do that? Can you show me? Yes, here, grab your crayons. I'll show you how to draw this. No consideration at all that I, well, I don't know you. Oh, you do now. Come play with me. No interference. No walls. Laughter, play, respect, enjoyment. And you go home that night and you lay down in bed and you say, I had a nice day. I had fun. And then you get up and repeat it again. That's the new realm. There's no effort to creating the new realm. The season has shifted. The octave has occurred. The leap into the next vibrational layer of consciousness has already occurred. It's just this pause and a breath and a stepping back and beginning to notice the atmosphere that's been and is being created. A, a joy, a laughter, a, a new fragrance. I knew that once, you'll say. Ah, that was from Cirrus B. I remember, you'll say. Hmm. Now be very present with this right here, right now. It's not someday. It's right now. Simply right now, you're shifting weight from one foot to the other foot. From one concept, experience, belief, simply recognizing, ah, it's just a movie. I can step out of the movie. There's no effort to stepping out, no limitations, no. I'm just going to step into this other movie. It's much more enjoyable. That's simple. Another breath. In fact, it's 
right here. It's not even a stepping out. It's just simply enjoying the new movie. And all of a sudden, here I am. The old movie. Hmm. I think there was an old movie. But I'm off to play now. Just another breath. Sit back, comfortable. On the park bench, look around. There are many creating, enjoying, playing. And there's an atmosphere of well-being. You just feel that sensation of ease and buoyancy, lightness. There's a joy. The atmosphere begins to loosen up and there's somebody talking to a lion. <laughs> Lions talking back. The intelligence begins to be expanded. The awareness, the knowledge, the wisdom begins to be remembered. And there's an aspect of this that all of a sudden, if allowed or will be allowed here, maybe not be fully understood at the moment, but there's an aspect here. There's still a question. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? Why did we spend so much time being not okay, uncomfortable, they don't like me, suffering, all of those words. Why did we do that? But as you begin to step into this new realm, there begins to be a clarity to that question also. It's this human that is magnificent. This human said, I will play that game so that when I see creator, I have an entirely new perspective on how to enjoy creator. Recognize all that I am from a new perspective that is more. To know the beauty of yourself at a grander level by having a reference to what you are not. This experience has led itself to the foundation of not only the new realm but the new human. And you're the creator being, creating the new experience. Unlike any ever before,
you've been told all along and many have pushed against and not heard and denied your big, significant, important. You came to play a game to set a whole new course of beauty into existence. And here you are now. Oh, another breath. All that I have done is to launch a new grand creation from perspective that none have but myself. Oh, and all the others on the part. Oh, yeah, and all the others on the planet, and all the others on all the other planets that have played in that third dimensional game. Many came along to watch, many came along to experience, many came along to learn to be the creator of the new realm. And here you are. Creating an atmosphere. How do you wish the party to be experienced? What is it that you wish to experience? How do you wish to play, create, enjoy? So welcome to the park bench with your crayons and your pencils and your sketch pads and your musical devices, your sculpting tools, your paints. And this cornerstone of respect. all sitting with others, all beginning to create this new realm. Be very, very clear, this is now unfolding with every movement of your pencil, every thought of beauty, every smile of possibility, you are now creating that new realm. And there are hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands and millions all over all that is in a third dimensional experience that are now beginning to see your creation, the collective creation. And there is movement towards this new realm of consciousness that you are creating. And there's laughter and there's amusement and there's giggling, useful tool to understand, learn giggling.
And it's all in joy and ease and very fluid and flexible with a smile. Can't do it wrong. Impossible. So what does your new realm hold as possibility? How creative can you call up from your imagination, the cornerstone of creating imagination? Can you call from your memory that is now beginning to present? So another breath. Happy, pleased with yourself. Can you find that? I like me. So we're just beginning or just extending from the pause previously with a great amount of awareness, knowledge, and information and wisdom to begin to build. So in the coming weeks and months, this is the format that we're playing in, adding to it each time. As we play in this next session that will be coming up, Steve Rother is going to come and kind of take the lead. We're playing an interesting game. Steve and I were weaving pieces of constructive love into the template. Two strands being woven into one. So as we play again this next time, it's all built upon this new realm from the park bench being created from the heart. So would you take another breath? Like yourself. This is not a place to walk away from. This is a place to begin to live from. So let us step back and we will continue to play as we build this new realm of consciousness. Enjoy your creation. Blessings. Mm -hmm.